I'd like to share with you a story I heard from a friend of mine. I'd never heard the story before. It was so beautiful and so impactful that I had to retell it for Shabbat. And hopefully you'll tell this to your friends at your Shabbat tables. The story is told of a great rabbi from the last century. His name was the Chofetz Chaim. That's how he was called. His actual name was Rabbi Yisrael Meir Kagan. He was a Kohen and lived in a small town called Radin. And the story is told that he once had to travel by train a, a long distance. And while with some of his students, and while he was on the train, he actually had to move from one carriage to another for some reason. And obviously between the carriages, there was open air and uh, open tracks. And as he was going from one carriage to the other, his foot got caught and his shoe fell off his foot and fell onto the tracks. And immediately he grabbed his other shoe and threw it onto the tracks as well. And then he walked into the next carriage. And one of his students who saw this turned to him and says, Rabbi, why did you do that? Why would you throw away your other shoe? And the Chavis Chaim gave a beautiful, incredible answer to this question. He said, I'll tell you why. The person who finds that one shoe is only going to have one shoe. And I am also left with one shoe. What am I going to do with this one shoe on my foot? Better, the person who finds that one shoe finds another one as well, and at least he has a pair. At least one of us should have a pair of shoes because mine was lost. And I think this is a beautiful metaphor that everyone can connect to in some way or another, because all of us are expected at some point of our lives to go overboard in terms of our care and concern for others. And sometimes along the way, during life, we lose a shoe. However, at those moments, we have the opportunity to discard the other shoe of life, to help someone else achieve completeness. And through acts of connection and acts of kindness and charity like that, at least we can bring love and tzedakah, charity, to the rest of the world. Shabbat Shalom.